um, in some uh, uh, research that I made recently, I asked uh, the tool to uh, solve me some uh, uh, terminal bugs. I had some bug in the application mm -hmm. and suggested me to install some dependencies, some okay. libraries. And if you don't know exactly what those libraries are, and uh, if they're okay to be used. another way to hack. Yes, yeah. indeed. I, I wasn't surprised to see that uh, at some point the tool that I was using uh, was asking me to install a dependency that wasn't compatible with what I was using uh, previously in the oh. application. So if you're not paying attention on this kind of stuff, you may end up having more problems that uh, you want to solve. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And even if it's not like a, a hack, installing randomly recommended dependencies without understanding what you're mm -hmm. installing can be a security problem just because you don't know what, what you're installing. Yes. This reminds me, you guys had recently had the Secure9 conference mm -hmm. and one of the speakers there said that the hackers are always faster than the good guys mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, because, because we the good guys we want to do things right and we're thinking about the impact of what we do and we got legislation and rules and guidelines yes. hackers have nothing <laughs> of that sort they just whatever it works best they use it the next day mm -hmm. um, they have no limitations of that type so you, do you have a code review process in in the team yes and yes. you review code and it doesn't matter if it's AI generated or not you still review the code of other people and other people review definitely. your code definitely definitely okay. well i think we should um treat uh, the code that is generated with ai uh, as um, the same as any other code and uh, uh, double check it double check it yeah. double check it it's a learning uh, procedure mm -hmm. uh, we learn from each other yeah. uh, and we learn from our mistakes and from the team mistakes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would also intend to be one more cautious when it, when it comes with the uh, code that are generated, um, especially because with generated code, also hackers are trying to evolve and uh, using also AI. In, you cannot say for sure if uh, generated code uh, is compromised or not. Yeah. So you. You have to be vigilant, you have to have a backup. Yeah, unless you understand it. Look at over it yes. and understand it, yeah. Yes. I mean, this is a, like a general best practice, I think, since ever in development, mm -hmm. and in general, but we're talking about development, that you should understand the tools you're using. You yes. want to use like a, an old-fashioned framework. Of course, you don't know every little detail, but you understand mm -hmm. what's happening beneath the cover. It's difficult to understand what's happening with AI because it's, it's a different thing. It's a, like a statistical model that's based mm -hmm. on it. It's not like a very linear thing. So sometimes yeah. you don't know why exactly they generated that thing or the other thing. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, that's true. But it also, you can regenerate uh, those requirements and those pieces of code until you are satisfied with the result. Good result, yeah. And, and you can also ask for explanation until you pretty much understand what it's doing and why it's one approach or another. You have to give uh, any tool, you have to give like specific prompts and kind of smaller, step mm -hmm. by step, baby break steps. It, break the problem into yes. smaller problems. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. It starts to generate maybe something that you need, but at some point kind of gives you something else and something else. And if you're not paying enough attention and if you're not very rigorous with uh, your uh, code and your standards, yeah. uh, there are some risks there. The thing with security, with uh, code that is generated, it's even uh, more uh, risky, I would say, because uh, the prompt injections are quite a thing now. Okay. <laughs> we are evolving as developer and we're trying to make our life easier, um, trying to uh, learn from, from AI and AI from us, but also the hackers do the same. So um, always double check your code with third party human expertise, all of them <laughs> maybe. <laughs>